What's going on guys, Aldrin Stasio here with FlightPath.com. Now in this video I got the new strobe anti-collision light. These are made to be attached to your drone and these are by the company called LoomCube. Now if you guys are new to my channel, I've done a bunch of videos on LoomCube in the past. They actually came out a while back with the original LoomCube which is a nice portable all weather underwater light as well as a newer one which is the loom cube air it's a lot lighter a lot more portable uh, but both these lights work really really well and it's nice to see that they've made a strobe light that can be attached to your drone Now I did a video in the past with the Mavic 2 Enterprise and a lot of people did ask about the strobe light on that Enterprise if you're able to get something like that for the Mavic 2 Pro. And the answer of course was no because it was the Enterprise version and it had a USB mount at the very top. So here they're coming out with a strobe light that you're really just able to attach to your drone on these Velcro style strips. And the reason why they came out with the strobe light is really to fulfill those FAA guidelines about flying at night or when the sun goes down. Now I'm not gonna go into all the legality portions of it as far as being able to fly at night, but I know that they wanted to come up with some sort of light system that allows you to maintain visual line of sight when you are flying your drone during sundown or at night. And on the front of the box, we just have a little photo showing you where they're placing it onto the Mavic 2 Pro. This case also comes with a red as well as a green cap to change the color of the strobe. And I believe they came out with two different sets. So make sure you guys check out the links down below to see what sets they offer and a little bit more details about each one. And on the back of the package, it has a little bit more specs about this strobe light. It's a strobe light that's one hertz or 60 strobes per second. It's visible from over three miles away. 360 visibility as well as strobe and continuous light function. And lengthwise, it is an inch and a half in length. And it's going to be using the 3M mounts to attach the light to your drone. High strobe, low strobe, continuous light. It could strobe for up to 2.5 hours at full charge. Lightweight, rechargeable USB, and as well as a 3M dual lock. So let's open this up and see exactly what's in here. Information card about testing the battery. And here we have, it looks like some Christmas lights, but it's really the light down below here. As we take a closer look, as you can see here, it says Loom Cube on the side. It is small, it says it's about an inch and a half has a button here up top, a single press button. Micro USB on the back for charging, has a couple clips here that's gonna hold your gels in place. And then it has the Velcro bottom right here, which you'll be able to attach this to your drone. Here's a little closer look at the green gel that's gonna go right over as well as the red one. So depending if you wanna change the color of it, all you have to do is clip this on to the top if you wanna change the color of the strobe. And of course, like I said, comes with a USB to micro USB cable. And as far as powering it on, pretty straightforward. You just have to press it once just to test it to make sure that there's battery in there. Now, if you want to turn it on, you press and hold it for three seconds and it'll automatically go into strobe. If you want to change the strobe to a slower one, you press it once and then it'll change it to a slower strobe. And then if you want continuous, press and hold it again and then you will have a continuous light. Now once you get the 3M lock on both sides, one on the light and of course the other one onto the drone, you do want to make sure it's positioned in the middle so that you don't have anything like your props hitting it. Then all you have to do is place this right on top and you want to be able to support the drone because it does take a little bit of force to press this down on there. And there you go, you can hear that little click and that lets you know that this thing is locked into place and it's not gonna be going anywhere. And as you can see, my props are not gonna hit it. And here's what it looks like on the Mavic 2 Pro right on the very top. Now the sun is actually going down right now, so I'm able to get a little sunset shot, see how it does in low light or when the sun is going down. And also we'll wait a little bit longer, wait for it to be a lot darker. And of course we'll see how this works at night.
And that was just a little sample flight, taking it out over 1,200 feet at night. And these are rated to be visible at over three statute miles away. But of course, I'm not going to fly that far. But at least we know it's rated to do so, depending on your weather conditions. Uh, I just wanted to take it out where I felt like it was a pretty normal distance for me to be flying. The one thing I wish that they did include was an extra set of the 3M dual lock Velcro system that they included in here uh, only because if you have multiple drones it would have been nice for you just to detach it off of one and attach it to another one so I wish LoomCube were to add in an extra couple sets in there for people who have multiple drones uh, but either way you could probably just pick one of those up at a local hardware store and then attach it to another drone and there it is guys the new LoomCube strobe anti-collision light just a really quick video to show you exactly what it's supposed to do and how to attach it to your drone because of the fact it has this 3M lock you're of course able to attach it to pretty much any other drone depending if you have the room for it and also make sure that wherever you're positioning it it does not hit the props and that's about it guys if you guys got some value from my video of course don't forget to hit that like button and also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos this is Alton Anastasio with flightpath.com I'll see you guys in the next one take care